Hey, come on. We gotta go to work, girl. Yeah, these are going to rest on the bits that in the middle to allow me to put pieces either side of it to join in because uh, I didn't want to half lap into the piece of wood because it would make them too weak and I didn't want to make the piece of wood twice the size because it would make it too big. So these act as like joints between the two. Tap that in there. Right, it's in. Nice join. Right there, and then under there. Can you see that? Probably not. No, you can. Nice and tidy. Okay, so that is the roof timbers all up. Really pleased with how it went, how it went, and how it uh, how it looks. It's come out really nice, I think. Um, so the windows sit on top of that uh, in a way. It's called direct glazing, uh, so that the timber can move underneath it. And yeah, so it's just going to be sitting on tapes, and then there's going to be some uh, trims and stuff on top of it, and uh, that hold it all down. So yeah, moving on to the next job. Right, so the next job on the list is I need to make some seals, something for the glass to sit on. Uh, it can't sit on the sleepers because the sleepers are just too rough and uneven and jagged and just not the right thing for a bit of glass to sit on. So they need something to sit on. So I just made this profile. I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger so it's got a little bit more to sit on. But essentially that is uh, what we'll make for window seal, tapered downwards. So the glass is going to sit against this face and then water can run off that way and it will give the glass something to sit on. So now I'm going to make about 20 metres of that. So then I fitted the seals down to the sleepers of the foundation, just used some uh, construction adhesive on the back 
just because the sleepers aren't um, very even and that's just going to bridge some of those high spots a little bit and it's just uh, then pre-drilled and screwed down with um, stainless steel decking screws that should last a, a very long time in the corners to save doing anything too complicated I've made these little uh, corner trims that go on there and uh, glue and clamp it all together plenty of it don't mind it squeezing out you can always clean it up see about getting a clamp on Right, so that is the seals all done. Uh, so now it's all ready for glazing essentially. And uh, hopefully, shall we start in that on Monday? So, very exciting. The uh, next job on the list was to make some uh, Z brackets for the windows. It was a lot cheaper to get windows uh, that were shorter lengths and have them overlap than to get them really long, save quite a bit of money. But it does mean that there's this overlap on the windows. Um, so I'm going to make some little hooks, some little hangers out of some scraps that I had. Uh, it takes a bit more work, but it's something I already had, and I can't go and just buy this thing because it's a uh, odd size. I need them to be 80 millimeters. They're usually much smaller than that. Uh, so yeah, I just cut some strips of aluminium off some uh, off some scrap profile aluminium profile I had and then just started bending them around a five millimeter piece of steel because the uh, glass is four millimeters four millimeter toughened so bending it around a five millimeter bit of steel gave me just about the right size gap it was quite easy just went around bent them in the vise um, with pliers and stuff it's only thin aluminium so yeah really very easy right so I just finished making all these hooks I'm not sure if it's maybe a bit overkill using these because it's all going to be stuck down with uh, glazing tape but in 30 or 40 years time once the tape's all failed and whatever it's all going to be still mechanically fixed and uh, I think that's worthwhile worth the uh, hour or so it took to make them that's for sure The uh, glass is all delivered, stacked up and waiting to go Well, uh, hey everyone fitted a pane of glass to the greenhouse so I'm gonna get a lot of trouble for this from Dot and you lot probably as well because my shoulders still not good on my back and I'm not supposed to be doing anything my right arms okay now I can move that about it doesn't make the other side hurt it's such a lovely day I'm just so unbelievably bored that uh, I've got to do something so I thought I could put these side piece of glass up because they're, they're really not heavy do it with uh, lift them all with my right hand okay. it's pretty easy work so I just did one and it was okay actually it, it wasn't hard honestly and it didn't hurt so yeah I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna get in trouble for it I'm using these uh, foam glazing tape to stick the windows on and then there's gonna be uh, slats that hold it and clamp it to the tapes from the outside um, the reason for that is so you can still see the frame properly from the outside and it will hide all the tapes. This tape isn't doing anything really other than just providing something nice and soft for the glass to sit against and allowing for the wood to move independently of the glass. Um, it probably would be right holding them there for a long time but I don't trust it so put that on there. It can't fall off then. Thank you. 
right, the greenhouse continues and I've got a helper, which is very good for me back. So I shall explain all of this in a second, how I'm doing it, why I'm doing it. I've just figured out that. I'm just about to put the first bit of wood on and just check that it's all going to work. The plan. So basically what we're doing is imitating the frame on the outside. So I'm just going to briefly explain what's going on here and why. So greenhouses are normally, wooden greenhouses are normally made of kiln dried timber. And the reason for that is uh, because obviously they don't want to move because glass is not a material that you can have movement in. It's not going to flex so it has to uh, be stable. Uh, this isn't kiln dried timber. It's in fact, it's basically green timber and it's going to move a lot still and it's going to shrink um, so if we stuck the glass between it as it shrinks it's going to break the glass even if we leave little gaps it might the post might twist and you know it it will change a lot it will change in many directions and that could break the glass so when doing some putting glass on a timber frame it's considered the best thing to do is put it on the outside which is called direct glazing and have a tape the foam tape behind it and then seal it and then imitate the frame on the outside with other bits of wood so it still looks like the frame is there but it's actually just strips uh, clamping the glass on and that allows all the timber to move and everything and the glass uh, can just stay where it is uh, because it's only stuck on with some tape um, and it's flexible and that, that, that can move the little amount it needs to move um, so that's why I was going to cut um, the amount that the glass sticks out out of the back of these pieces of wood um, but I decided I didn't want to lose all of that material I like the chunkier look of the piece of wood so we're just going around and just putting on just these strips uh, while Dot's doing it and these strips just bring bring it out far enough so that we can uh, when we clamp the bit of wood on it's not sitting at too much of an angle so that's what's going on uh, we've got foam back tape on the back and then uh, butyl tape on the front and essentially once all this is on the glass will be sealed front and back uh, from the weather and everything and it will be clamped to the frame but it will be essentially be floating between the frame so it can move. Hey everyone, so it's been uh, about a week now since uh, I've done any filming because my back slash shoulder took a bit of a turn for the worse and I had to rest it again. I think I overdid it. Um, been told to use it, but for me, you know, even doing light jobs, I tend to overdo it. But this doesn't seem too bad doing this. So I'm doing a bit of uh, work on this, just putting these up. They're not that wet and they're quite thin, so they're quite light. So I'm all right with these, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, just uh, Working my way around, fitting all these trims. Which you can see is relatively easy. I was thinking about uh, doing all these screws and fixings, all invisible, plugging it all and everything, but I uh, decided against it just for the time constraints of getting this done this year because it's, uh, it's getting on and we want to use this and all that's going to happen is this wood's going to go all grey it's going to crack because it's green wood really essentially it's going to crack and split and warp and twist and like I say go grey which will look great but I just don't think that screw showing is going to really change or ruin that aesthetic so that's why I've gone with that take that off Take off this tape back in. Butyl rubber tape. And this greenhouse is really, I mean, really properly built. Like, I 
can't think of many things which are gonna degrade this greenhouse really. The timber is all durable, the glass is all of top quality, thick, toughened glass. Um, yeah, it, it really should last this. Um, I'm hoping it'll live me out, see me out anyway. That's the plan. So that's the uh, main sections of this side done. Uh, tomorrow I'll put in these bits because I'm not allowed to do much. <laughs> to take it easy. So yeah, tomorrow I'll put in all of these. There's six of them to do to make that me tomorrow job. So me and Dot just milled a load more timber. Um, I was the brain, she was the brawn. Um, she's pushing it all and everything. I'm just sort of saying I'll turn it that way or whatever. And yeah, so we just milled a load more for the roof because I didn't do enough initially. Just show you. Yeah, basically it's the same same stuff as before, but um, just more of it because for some reason I forgot to do enough. But yeah, so we've got that ready now, so that needs to go through the plane thicknesser. So the wind's calmed down a little bit, still a bit windy. Oh, it's very bright looking into the sun as well. But yeah, that's the walls done. They're looking great. They look really, really nice and straight when you're walking past and sort of you end up sighting down it as you're, as you're moving past the building. It all looks straight and square and nice. Um, really pleased with that. That was one of the things I really tried hard to get right. Um, is so that everything is in line with everything. One reason being is because the glass being not really a movable material but also because it's such a uh, square and so many angles to the building that if they were all off it would look wrong when you walk by it but it, it does all look nice and straight which is good um, and that's not my normal thing that I tend to do so uh, I was a bit worried about getting that right. Just a quick view from the inside, uh, obviously it looks the same as from the outside because it's glass but you can see uh, the how the the glass is held on a little bit better. Um, you can see the strips on the outside, and that's the uh, direct glazing. It's just a really lovely place to be in here, and I can't wait for the whole thing to be finished. Um, but something has happened, unfortunate, and that is that the spring has gone. Uh, so we're basically in a drought at this point. You can see just by looking out there that it is very dry very unusual for Wales that but it's very very dry and the spring stopped uh, about a week ago now um, so yeah we know now what it takes for the spring to dry up and it's a, a good solid couple of months of no rain which is what we've had recently uh, so that's a bit annoying because it was actually very very useful we were using it a lot um, but yeah, a bit of rain and pretty sure it will come back. Yeah, at least we know now. So we know that the spring 
uh, won't continue all summer if it's really really dry like it's been um, but when it is there it's really handy even in the winter we find it handy because it's good to just dip a bucket in water for the chickens or whatever um, so when it's there we do really appreciate it it's there it's very easy to get to and just yeah like, it's really handy uh, now, now it's gone it's kind of annoying but um, it'll come back a bit of rain it'll start again right well that is going to conclude this video I was hoping to have had this whole thing done in this video that was my original plan but uh, the injury in my back slowed me down that's also the reason why I've started with the walls as opposed to starting with the roof obviously it made more sense to start with the roof but um, yeah the walls are much easier for me to do on ground level climbing up there at the moment is still a bit um, not quite going to happen with my back the way it is uh, so yeah hoping I'm getting better every day so hoping to start the roof Sunday today so hopefully next week sometime start doing that and uh, it's not a huge amount left to do with it really just uh, same as the walls really with an extra little bit on top um, so it shouldn't take me that long it's just being able to climb about up there and, and get it done but yeah hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching